Hey ladies, let's quickly talk about rentals. So in some scenarios, your reception venue may not have chairs or tables or sound systems available to rent or for your use. So in this case, you will have to rent those sorts of items. There are also additional items that you can rent such as tents and canopies or space heaters if you are outside. There are so, so many options of things to rent, including decorations. You could rent seat covers. You could rent centerpieces. I could go on forever. But there are so many things that you could rent. So um, Hobby Lobby has some rentals as well for like arches or pedestals if you're wanting some decorations for the altar for the ceremony. If you need chairs rented, this is something that you definitely will need, obviously, if the reception or the ceremony do not provide those. Sometimes the ceremony will have seating, but the reception doesn't or vice versa. So just make sure that your venue has all of the necessities for you. Or what you could do is if you rented chairs and if you are in a shared venue for your wedding ceremony and your wedding reception, if you're like, well, I don't want to rent double the amount of chairs, what you could do is use all the chairs for the ceremony. And then during the cocktail hour, then you could be having people move the chairs over to the tables for the reception. It's just an idea. So generally speaking, I'm just going to jump right into questions for you and your fiance, because this will help explain it better than I could. So the first question that you can ask yourself and your fiance is, do we have any furniture, decorations, equipment, or items that could be used instead of having to rent items? So do you have things at home that would make awesome centerpieces so you don't have to rent things yourself? Um, are we better off renting items or buying them? This is a question only you can answer. What are we able to buy that could be repurposed or sold after the wedding? So if you're like, you know what, let's buy lanterns for our centerpieces. That would be smart because you can always sell those again to other future brides or you can use them as decorations throughout your house. Um, so that would be a scenario where it's smarter to buy or repurpose. Certain centerpieces you're never going to use again, so that might be smarter to rent. So is there anything that you can borrow from friends and family that can be used for your wedding? So does someone in your family have beautiful vases that you could use as centerpieces or mirrors that you can put under your centerpiece? It is so awesome to save money. Maybe people you're renting from them. So see if they have anything you can borrow. Are tables and chairs provided by the venue or do we need to rent them? Are the tableware, the glassware, the linens, and the utensils provided by the reception venue or the caterer? Or do we need to rent any of it? So do they provide the plates and the cups and the silverware and the napkins? Or do you have to buy or rent any of it? Those may be additional fees. Are there any decorations you can rent to prevent you from having to buy things that you would never use again, like centerpieces or backdrops behind the head table? You'll never use that backdrop again, just rent it. Or certain decorations or arches or the candelabras for the ceremony, pedestals, an outdoor huge tent. Don't buy it, just rent it. Or outdoor heaters, absolutely. Are you interested in renting a photo booth for the night? That's a question. Do you need to rent a projector or a projection screen to play a slideshow dur during the reception uh, dinner? So James's mom was so sweet and made us a slideshow of our childhood photos up through our engagement photos and it played during our reception dinner. So does the venue provide a projector and screen for you to use, or are you going to have to rent one and bring it in if you want a slideshow played? 
Is the DJ going to provide the sound system and the microphones? Or do you need to rent any of that? Is he coming with all of that? Is she coming with all of that? Or are you going to be stuck without any sound equipment? Same thing with the ceremony. Do they have, or the ceremony location, the church, do they have wireless microphones for you to use? Do they have handheld microphones for you to use? Things like that. Do they have instruments that your singer or your keyboardist can use? So questions you might specifically have for the rental company themselves would be, okay, so looking at the items on our list that we need to rent, which of these items are available for rent from you? And they might say, okay, well, we rent out heaters, but we don't rent out the giant tents. Okay, good to know. How early do you make a delivery on the day of? Or do they deliver and set up before the wedding day? Hopefully that's the case. But if not, how early can they make a delivery on the day of? Because you will want enough time to set up what is being brought in. Does the rental fee include setup and breakdown fee? The setup and the breakdown, or is that an additional fee? Hopefully, the rental company, they will be setting things up for you or they would be tearing things down for you. Hopefully, that's included, but if it's not, don't you want to know that? <laughs> so, you may want to pay that additional charge just so other people are doing it for you on your wedding weekend and you don't have to do it yourself. Is there a delivery fee? If they are dropping things off for you, are they going to charge you money for doing that for you? Or is that... Um, does that come with the rental? Is that included in the rental cost? Are there any additional fees based on how many miles you have to drive? So if there is a rental company far away and there's not one near where your wedding's going to be, are they going to charge you additional fees if they have to drive a significant amount of miles to reach your wedding venue? Just, it's better to know these details up front. When do we need to give you the final rental numbers? So if you are renting tables and chairs from a rental company, you may not know how many guests are going to be coming. You might have an idea based on how many people you're inviting, but not everyone you invite is going to show up to the wedding. So you might say, hey, when can I let you know the final number? Because that will determine how many chairs I need to rent or how many tables I need to rent. Another question, what steps do we need to take in order to reserve your services for our wedding day? Is there a contract to sign? Please make sure that there is something signed. I really recommend that because you don't want your wedding day to come and go and someone forgot to bring something or there was never a record of it in their office and the, and the item that you wanted got rented out to someone else. It's important to have things signed in writing with a date so just ask them what steps you need to take to reserve their services or reserve the rental items and if there's a contract to make it official you can ask them what their cancellation policy is if there's something that you're renting but you're like i might change my mind on that particular item ask them what their cancellation policy is additionally Ask them what amount is required for the deposit. So it might be a big chunk of money. Ask them what portion of it is due right then and when is the remaining balance due? What forms of payment do they accept? Is there an additional service charge for paying with a credit card? Because sometimes there are processing fee fees for electronic credit cards or electronic means instead of cash or check. So anyway, Hopefully this gives you some clarity on the rental items. Most of the time, even the reception venues even offer a lot of these items for rent if they aren't included in the rental fee of the space. A lot of times rental venues have the chairs and the tables and all, and the caterer or the reception venue will have all the plates and cups and napkins and the silverware. So generally speaking, you don't have to worry about any of this. This is more geared towards the random things like the photo booth or the tent if you have an outdoor wedding or the heaters or 
uh, pedestals or an archway for your ceremony. So hopefully this helps give you a little bit of a reference point for rental items and please continue on to the next section.